Okay, we've got a couple of questions this week, and uh, it it's really comes with the FHA and the rental income from ADUs. And you kind of mentioned this a little bit last week and maybe the week before last when we were talking about using rental income. And uh, the recent news reports have mentioned that the FHA has changed their rules about using rental income to qualify. What was that change and how does it help prospective home buyers? We're excited about that. Right. I had hinted at this last week um, when we were talking about the fact that the uh, two uh, you know, quasi-governmental agencies, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, uh, who buy conforming conventional loans from lenders, had changed their guidelines <clears throat> to allow for only a 5% down payment on multifamily units, specifically uh, duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes, two to four unit properties. And that was a big change in the whole idea idea was to uh, encourage more purchase of that kind of property uh, in, in an effort to help buyers, particularly maybe first time home buyers, be able to purchase a home that will uh, have the additional feature of generating uh, rental income while they're occupying one of the units. Because uh, in this new guideline with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, lowering the down payment to 5% when it was previously uh, 15 to 25%, the whole idea was is to allow somebody to be able to you know purchase that home with a lesser down payment and then again generate additional um, rental income from one of the other units but there is the requirement that you have to live in one of the units well um, this question about fha that we received is uh, regarding a change that fha has announced which is along the same uh, basically along the same vein and what the agency in this case fha hud is trying to accomplish. And so what they originally, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, recently announced was that FHA is now going, going to allow a someone who's purchasing a home with an accessory unit, an ADU, you can now use, when you're qualifying to finance the purchase of that home, you can now use rental income from that ADU, from that accessory unit. And you can use 75% of that as part of your qualifying income. Uh, now, the requirement is, is that uh, the lender in underwriting that scenario is going to have to um, verify what the uh, monthly rental income is, what the market monthly rental income is go is or going to be for that unit. And that will typically be established by uh, either uh, an appraisal report that includes an additional addendum called a 1007, uh, where the uh, appraisal will be tasked with the uh, uh, with the need to determine what the market rent is for that particular accessory unit. And then in, you know, what, whatever that number is, we can use 75% of that. Uh, additionally, maybe the uh, unit's already occupied by a tenant under a existing lease agreement, then that can also be taken into account. Uh, <clears throat> although typically you'll want to get a 1007 most likely anyway. So it's a big benefit. The idea again here is to try to help homeowners uh, particularly first time home buyers. Now, of course, in this case, FHA is not, uh, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You can occupy a uh, two to four unit property, or in this case, a, a single family with an ADU. Uh, <clears throat> you don't have to be a first time home buyer to buy that with three and a half percent down, depending on what the price level is in your county. Uh, but the point is, this is another way to help a home buyer be able to accomplish home ownership, but at the same time acquire a property that is going to provide a rental income stream to help um, offset what the mortgage expense is going to be when you finance that purchase. So uh, it's a really great, great um, uh, revision to the FHA guidelines. And I, I'm pretty excited that I think it's definitely going to help some uh, you know, younger buyers, younger families, again, who want to get into home ownership, but would like a little help in terms of some rental income to help offset that mortgage payment. I think this is going to be a great tool to use going forward. So we're excited about it. 